Hi there. My name is Bode Workman. I'm working as an architect in the Open Road Engineering Group of Actian, and I want to show you how to use the JSON RPC sample request generator, which has been delivered with one of the latest Open Road patches. Let's have some background first. If you remember the steps to provide Open Road server procedures as web services using the JSON RPC 2.0 interface, you will possibly remember that after you have set up all the other things, you want to test the calls of the exposed 4GL procedures. And that is exactly what the JSON RPC sample request generator utility is designed for. It builds sample JSON RPC 2.0 requests for an application and therefore it prevents tedious and error-prone manual editing of JSON requests. So you don't have to think about typos and things like that. The utility is delivered with the Open Road 6.2 patch number 15,469 or greater. How do you use the utility? So you start the Windows Start menu, there you choose the Action Open Road 6.2 program group, and within it you will find the JSON RPC sample request generator link. Once you clicked on it, you will be prompted for a database. This is the repository database containing the sources for the server application which you want to test. Alternatively, you can start the utility directly from the command line by running the JSON RPC request generator image file. Once the utility is started, you will first select the application and for the application, you will send the list of exposed 4GL procedures. So the list of applications will only contain applications which are both in the repository and for which you also have a JSON config file. And the list of procedures is populated from the database and the config file and both have to match. So if a procedure is only in the database repository or only in the config file, it will not be included in that list. Then you can select the 4 procedures for which a sample request should be generated. The parameters for the 4 procedure calls will get default values according to their declared data types. So for instance, for numeric types like integer or float, the value will be zero. And for a string, a varchar string, for instance, it will have some value of some text. By clicking on the Write JSON to File button, you can store the JSON to a disk file, which you can then edit afterwards to change parameter values or create a batch request from the requests, or you can split the requests into separate files. To test the JSON RPC 2.0 requests, you could either use a program or you could just test it from command line. For programming, you could use the interfaces which are available in your programming language. For instance, in Open Road, you can use the JSON RPC request method, which is available for the remote server class. But much easier is to test the JSON request from the command line. You could use different utilities like the a PowerShell command, invoke web request, or the curl utility, or the wget utility, which is available on Unix or on Sigwin. Uh, you will send the request as a post request to the JSON RPC servlet. Yeah, that's the URL of the servlet. And the request will be the data of the post request. Uh, in this case, it's in a file. So you will 
send it as a post request content. Okay, let's have a live demo of it. As I said before, you will find the utility in the Actian Open Road 62 programming group. Click on the link to start the JSON RPC request generator. Select your repository database. Click on OK. Select the application which you want to test. The server application. Once you have selected the application, you select the procedures you want to test and you generate the JSON RPC request sample calls. You can do that for all or for an individual. In this case, I have generated the request just for an individual 4GL procedure called get all. And accordingly, I save it to a file named get all.json, which I will then use in my tests. First, I check if my server application is available at all uh, by just testing the JSON RPC request servlet. Then I edit some parameters. In this case, the get all 4GL procedures has a filter parameter and a class name parameter I, I will edit. So the class name will say which kind of objects I want to select. In this case, that are airline objects. And the filter is basically defining the where condition. So I send the request from this file to the server application and I, I get according results. Okay, for more information, visit our website at http www.actian.com slash openroad or see the online documentation or visit our GitHub examples. Thank you very much.